Ha! Hi. This is the Alp de Zwift. When you've ridden of the Alp de Zwift, you should really celebrate it. So what I've made is this. I call it the murder milestone. It's a French milestone. It's called a born kilometric in French. And I'm using it to celebrate having ridden up up to Zwift. Not once, not four times, but 25 times. And getting under the hour. <laughs> But hey, you can make this out of two pieces of wood and it's dead easy. And you don't even need to ride up two times. You can do it for yourself whenever you want. Ride up it once. Let's take a look at the story and how I made it. Abdres. This is one of uh, the Tour de France's most famous climbs. It's a big deal for a lot of cyclists. And in Zwift, in the world of Wetopia, there's an equivalent. It's the Alpe de Zwift. And I've made this as my own souvenir of Alpe de Zwift. This is a French milestone or Born Kilometric. They're identified by the colour at the top, which is usually red for a route nationale, a main route going between large cities, or yellow for route départementale, RD, followed by number. So you might have N1 for the national one going up to the north of France or RD211 which is the departmental road going up to the top of Alpe d'Huez. In this example I've used orange to identify the born because quite simply it's the colours of Zwift. So instead of RD211 for the route départementale going up to the top of Alpe d'Huez I've used RW as for route de Watopia. 211 going up the road to Sky up to the Alpe de Zwift. So let's take a look at how I made this. Basically I started with one large piece of wood that I cut to make the base. It's about four inches wide by three inches by three quarters of an inch deep. The ideal thing would be to use one large piece of wood which would be about two inches wide by one and a half inches deep by four inches high. I didn't have that, I had two pieces of wood that I could glue together and get to the same effect. So basically I cut my wood, glued it together, clamped it and then cut around, around it off top. Now as you can see from this image, that round wasn't perfect. So I worked at it again, I cut it again a bit more and then sanded it down to get a better curve. I also marked on the base the hole that I was going to cut to take the milestone and that I would then push into the hole and the glue. So once everything was glued together and sanded I then put two coats of primer onto this white primer everywhere and then two coats of white uh, paint on top of that. And finally the orange is actually watercolour. It's not, it's not really ideal, it works very well but I would recommend acrylic but I was using whatever I had on hand and add some old orange watercolour. After that, well, the RW211 is something that I actually just drew with a black pen onto the top. And as for the rest of the labels, I just printed in Word document the road name and the directions and the altitude, and then printed that and glued it onto the bone. And that's the end result, it's quite nice. And if you're not too keen on doing that yourself, if you're not a great DIY person, you can actually get an Alp d'Huez souvenir from Cycling Souvenirs on the internet. It's something similar and um, probably just as good if you don't want to go around and make something specific to Zwift. So there you go. Happy bricolage, as they say in French, or happy DIY, and have fun. Yeah! What else?